Have to stop for another one. Just across the street. This is for the Chevy guys. Eleven thousand. I don't know what what is this like a sixty seven maybe set up for drag car. Looks like a candidate for a LS crate motor. Not too bad. Uh, hogged out. Let's see what she got underneath. Oh, big Dana. Dana 60. Uh, no, not really. I'm just, uh, Taking a little video of it. She has been numbered. She is titled. Oh, okay. This is not just a race car. This car does not need an inspection before it's put back on the road. Oh, okay. So somebody could actually throw a motor in it, yeah. hook up the headlights and tail. Get it and registered drive it. and that. Yeah. Get the title. Oh okay. yeah. I had to fight to get one. Yeah. Yeah. When I bought this thing, this car's originally from Alabama. Okay. That's why the, that's why the shelf is clean pretty, as it is. Pretty clean, yeah. Um. The front clip is fiberglass. Okay. The doors are fiberglass. Did you look inside? No. Is this a nine or an eight? This is nine. Nine. Okay. Well, I didn't see any markers on the uh, on the uh, the fenders, so they usually put that, markers it's, it's right. It's front clip. It's fiberglass. Right, but usually if it was a nine, yes, it would have markers. Yes, they would be in the side. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yep. They are what? Hate it. I gotta realign the doors a little bit. That's the way I bought her. Yeah. Um, them are weld race rims, strange axles, Dana sixty. Yep. And I yep, worked. Yep. I, I worked. It a, needs. It needs a motor. <laughs> I worked at a body shop, and the reason why I bought her is even my boss told me that the shell, believe it or not, on this thing is clean. Uh huh. There's no putty in the shell, and um. What's weird about this car is I ran the numbers. Remember Hugger Orange? I'm not, I'm not I'm not a Chevy guy, but that's usually oh. an RSSS color. And look uh -huh. at it. Yeah. Uh -huh. And it's, this car was just born a coupe. For a rally sport color? Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Well, it caught my eye, so I like stopping that stuff that catches my eye yeah, on absolutely. the side of the road. I like road. your tractor, by the way. Yeah, you need one? Uh, you need I, a cultivator? I couldn't afford one if I wanted one. Yeah, that uh, If I could, I would Well, be... you know, they're not that bad. We can probably swap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, what do you, what, what, what's that deer go for? Oh, that deer, pro probably about 15. Thousand? Yeah. Thousand. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't doubt that's that That's a 900C all. cultivator. Yeah, that's 15 grand. Oh, I, I, all day long, all day long. Yeah, and, I, and the other one's an international uh, 265, and there's a 274 that are your brother and sister, but that's a nice machine too. Yeah. I'm just coming out of Wisconsin with it. Nice. I seen them. They had a Kubota. Oh, should have seen the price on that. It had seven attachments out of Manitowoc, but they wanted like 37 grand for it. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, tractors are freaking expensive. And it was a oh, little yeah. one. It yeah, wasn't even compact. that big. Yeah. And they hold their value, too. Oh, I know. Absolutely. So. All right, man. Well, you know, it's like, here, I'm making a little video here in case somebody's interested, you know. They Absol might give you a call. You never know. Absolutely, bud. You take care. All right, you too. There you go. Nice hot rod. Titled. Titled and uh, ready for either a street or strip. There you go. I gotta go later.